Have you ever seen streamers and content creators play on the juicy 144 to 240 FPS and you also wanna play like that but your potato PC can just run 30 FPS on low graphics. But today I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna help you upgrade your PC on a better. I'll recommend you some best price to performance parts that takes your gameplay's performance looking like this to this. So before upgrading, you need to check your PC parts what you have currently in your PC. So to do that, right click on your taskbar and click on task manager. If it shows something like this, click on more details and you'll have a page like this. Click on performance and there it will show you all the PC specs you have. Like your CPU, your GPU, your storage and your RAM. So if it doesn't show your GPU in the performance tab, that means you have integrated graphics. Integrated graphic basically means your PC is purely running on your CPU. So while you're gaming, it uses your CPU's power, which is kind of bad for gaming. So if you have a low budget, like 60 to $70, I recommend you buy a used GPU like an RX 580 or the GTX 1650. These cards can run most of the games without lagging. These type of graphic cards need a good power supply. To run these cards, you at least need 400 watt power supply. If you have a bigger budget like 120 to $200, I recommend you either upgrade your CPU or GPU. If you already have a good CPU, you can buy a GPU or the other way around. To check if your CPU is good or not, in Task Manager, in CPU option, on the right side, it shows your CPU name. So the last three numbers don't really matter much, but the number that comes before the last three numbers is your CPU generation. So for me here, it shows i5-9400F, basically it refers to my 9th gen. So my CPU can basically run a 1650, a 1660 or 1660 Ti but anything above that will bottleneck my CPU. So bottlenecking basically means my CPU is too weak for my GPU or my GPU is too weak for my CPU. This is very important when it comes to building or upgrading your PC. Check whether your CPU or GPU is bottlenecking or not. You can use this website called Bottleneck Calculator. So here basically you put the processor you have or you are going to buy like uh, where I have i5 9400F. And the GPU I have, like I have a six GTX 1650. Yeah, and then which resolution I'm gonna play. So mostly it's either 1080p. So, and for gaming, of course, it's GPU intense tasks. So I cal I'm calculating, it's calculating. So it's showing 0%. So my GPU and CPU are perfectly pad and it doesn't bottleneck. But if I'm upgrading my GPU, like a 1660 super, yeah. It's bottlenecking a bit, 13% is a more. So my CPU is too weak for my GPU. So before upgrading your CPU or GPU, use this website so that you can get the best out of the parts you are buying. Switching your CPU is kind of complex because it depends also on your motherboard. If you have an AMD Ryzen motherboard, I recommend you buy the 3600 or the 5600 which are really good CPUs. If you have an Intel 9th or 10th gen motherboard, it's kind of decent for most low-end graphic cards but anything below that is kind of bad. So if you want to change your Intel CPU which is below 9th gen, I recommend you switch to AMD by buying a B410 or B510 AMD motherboard and the AMD CPUs I recommended earlier. But that will cost you around $200. If you already have a decent GPU, I recommend you do this if you want higher frames on FPS games like Valorant, Fortnite, CSGO and other FPS games. And make sure the CPU and GPU you are pairing, the bottleneck percentage is low by using the website I recommended earlier. Now you have a really good CPU and GPU for the price. If you have a bit more budget like 20 to 30 dollars, I recommend you buy RAM. RAM is also very important while gaming. In 2025, you need minimum 16 GB RAM. If you can squeeze in an extra few dollars in your budget, you can buy a 500GB or 256GB SSD. If your motherboard can support M.2, buy a M.2 SSD or else you can buy a Z SSD too. SSD not only acts as storage but also decreases your loading screen times. It overall makes your PC experience faster. So this is the overall recap of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new. Make sure to drop a like, share and sub. It really helps me a lot guys. So that's it for today's video.